everybody, it's Jill with Crick Flicks, and I just filmed a little bit ago, and I'm hoping that I can easily get these updated. Um, I just did some silhouettes of the 80s flashback. I think I used my own, war my own wardrobe from that era as my inspiration which I mentioned in the other video, and now i got to find the rest of my pieces. These are going to be silhouettes of sports, and I have two piles of pieces that go with them, and they are gone, unless they're in here. Maybe I have them all. Well, I'll soon find out. Okay, these are 18 inches tall, and they're going to be standing on 6-inch box, um, box bases, I have them here, and I have one ready anyway, but I gotta put the one on all of them. So, I can put this one together for the first piece. Now, these were all different sports, and the sports I chose were soccer, baseball, football, uh, basketball. Um, and the images were just off of, there's all sorts of free uh, clip art things on, and so just type in sports sil silhouettes and you can, can find them. The basketball player here, I've got them all ready to go. I wasn't going to add any glitter, but now when I'm looking at it, I think I want to straighten the eyes a little bit, the lines. I've got him standing on the box like so. And all I'm going to add to him is a basketball. Now, I have three basketball players in here, and so I made three different size basketballs. So I'm going to have to trial by error. This one is the right one right here. And I put away my glue gun, or my tape gun. Oh. All righty. The overall height on these then turns out to be... Um, 24 inches so and let me get that on there that's all I'm going to do and then I'm going to glitter around them let me put on the other side so I do not get these all messed up I just went on to Google and typed in every sport that I was doing I, I typed in the ball for it and just picked out what I liked and these for the most part, I didn't have to flip, so I didn't have to deal with with that. I'm going to use some silver glitter to outline. I could use black, but I think I've mentioned before, I'm not a real big fan uh, fan of black glitter. Um, and anymore, I've not been a real good fan of, of the silver either. I've been having a lot of troubles with it. Brand new bottles, not. Yeah, that one's working. I decided I wanted to outline this because I, I see a little uneven in the the outline on the arms, a little jagged. Sometimes they're like that. So your miracle worker is your glitter. And I will do this on both sides. And typically I would never I don't ever use black black glitter. Um, I have one there sometimes I'm trying to think when I would use it I don't like it I, I do not like the black glitter gun smoke is my favorite to use where I normally would it would be something that I would that would use black but I don't like black doesn't show up glittery I just don't like it and gun smoke has been on back order um, forever so then I switched to uh, steel and I like steel it's a blue gray and I use that a lot now that's on back order I don't know if it's on back order or what where I go to get my glitters it just seems odd how often they're out of so many colors um, the one thing I will say though the glitter when you're using it on on top, well, it doesn't matter on top of any color. 
especially diamond it will it will glitter and you can see it very well and be added add a shimmer um, if you run out of a color it doesn't matter just use a, a, a diamond color and it will show up glittery and pretty okay I said there's a something I wanted that didn't want to forget to tell everybody because I thought everybody would get a why is that? Oh, that's the bottom of his foot. I'm looking like, why does this look like he's got a club foot? And I know why. Because the way that he's getting ready to shoot, that's actually the back of his foot. So, there we go with him. I'll put him, probably we should put him just aside. If I have any little rough edges when I'm, I'm done outlining, or done putting them together. Typically, I find them before I start the glittering. I just file them off. And this particular case, I got a little part of his finger. Oh, <laughs> I just ran my face into that camera. Remember, I got to tell you the other day, um, I was up here working and my husband's downstairs working on something. And he calls me, and he always is calling me when I'm working or when I'm filming or something. I'm busy doing something, and he's he's always calling and saying, "Hey, you gotta come down here right away." Well, I kind of just kind of okay, yeah, whatever, and and I go when I finish up what I'm doing. Okay, let me tell you what this one is. This is another basketball player. And um, let me see the size. What? I want my mint. My dry mouth mint. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I shouldn't have them in my mouth when I'm when I'm filming, but I've been having a lot of trouble with my with my burning mouth. That one's too small. This one I think might be just a little bigger. I cut these in three different sizes because the image or the images that I need them for were three different sizes. And this one I think is going to work. Um, so I my husband called me because he, he said, I need you right now. And I go downstairs and he's in the kitchen and blood everywhere. I'm going. When I saw him, I'm, I'm just, I, I, I didn't know what to say. I'm like, what, what's going on? He goes, I think he needs to take me to the hospital. And I said, what happened? You know, and he said that he was carrying a plant up to the deck uh, to put it on the deck. But he had, he had the plant and he slipped. It was a big pot, huge pot. And he slipped on one of the steps going up to the deck and fell face first into the planter but the planter hit him right here and just smashed his face right under his nose. Well, he could move his, he could feel the bone when he would move his nose and he felt like he broke the bone up, up above his teeth. Well, we called the doctor and the doctor said, you need to go up to the emergency room. Um, but, but then I look out on the deck where he'd fallen and it looked like somebody was murdered out there. He was bleeding so bad. Um, I, I have the two babies here and I'm like, how am I going to get him up to the hospital? So I called my daughter and telling her I got to take him up to the emergency room. Can she come get, get, I had to figure out something with the two babies I had. But then right after I got the phone with my daughter, my son-in-law, she called me back and said my, um, my son-in-law had, had left. He was on his way here and he was going to take him. Um, because it, I was going to have to get a hold of two of my kids to come get the babies and he said no I'll, I'll just take them up there um plus my son-in-law and him are best friends and i think he just freaked out when it happened i was afraid of him falling um when i'm the one that falls all the time i guess they think i can handle it better i don't know but he took him up and they did x-ray and uh it, he broke his nose but he didn't it doesn't look like he harmed anything of the bone or the teeth because he could have knocked his teeth out had he been off a just a hair he would have knocked his teeth out but i guess he leaves that for me i don't remember i mean i, I remember videotaping and telling everybody what happened to me 
walking out the garage and face planting the garage door because I thought it was already open because I pushed it to go open, but I was on the phone, not paying attention, and I face planted the door that had not opened yet and knocked my front tooth out. And that would be something that I would do. It's just so not like him to do something like that. Um, I just, again, thank God, it wasn't anything more serious. Just a broken, no, broken nose, but it broke on the tip, so he didn't get it all where it had to be realigned or anything. So he's pretty lucky there. But I thought you would enjoy that story, or not. But anyway, you know, since, since the pandemic and not going out much, um, there's just not a lot to tell happening. I um, did go out yesterday and went into Target for my second time because I went for the first time. And then I went the second time to return what I bought the first time. Uh, but I noticed that, that everybody's still wearing face masks. They, they stopped all of that, but everybody had face masks on. But me, I couldn't wait for the day I didn't have to wear a mask. I hated it. I didn't go anywhere because I hated wearing a mask so bad. But everybody's still wearing them. I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay, now for the batter hair for the baseball. I made a bat. And I made it with the ball. And I'm going to just go for this bat. And... Okay. There we go. And I think, you know, anybody who say, well, it doesn't line up exactly with his hands and how his hands would be and whatever, these, these aren't made from photos. They're just silhouettes with the little accent added would be my husband saying, no, he wouldn't. I was going to say he would say something about it, but he wouldn't. He would never pick at it. Okay, we got baseball there. I, I decided to put a baseball cap on him, and I made it red. Why I made it red, do you know? I just wanted to. Could have looked up with the... Just seems like everybody has a red baseball cap. You can tell how much I'm into sports. How would I know what everybody has? There we go. Got a baseball cap on him. Now I'm going to turn around, put the baseball cap on the other side. Then I'm going to glitter him up. I think I'll glitter them afterwards so I can get all of these little pieces on here together. My accents. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Doesn't look like it's matched up perfect there. Okay. The front and the back are mirror images. There we go. Got it. Got it. There's a hair there that on either side. I'm going to clip it off. I have been using my center punch to punch holes in all my boxes now because uh, uh, the bases because that's all I'm using now and totally forgot I had my crocodile that makes it so much easier again because when I can't see something I forget that it's there this is a baseball player and he's pitching he's the pitcher I do believe and I got a glove and a ball here to put on him and since I am such a huge know-it-all of baseball. Now, this would not be the hand this way. I'm trying to figure out to make sure I put it on the wrong side, or the right side. Let's go this side. Now, it can be changed if it needs to. Yeah, I'm not into any sport. Swimming's about my, my, my uh, limit <laughs> to sports, and that doesn't even qualify. 
mommy's only got eight weeks to go before my new granddaughter is here. Um, we've been flying around names forever. My, my granddaughter, when they picked the name Emma, uh, she, every time she talked about her, she'd say her baby sister, Emma. <laughs> then they changed it to, I don't remember the next one's name, Allison or something. And then she started calling it Allie. And um, they changed it again. And I'm like, oh my God, don't tell her these names. She's going to be so used to that. And then you don't use any of them. This one's going to be soccer. And yeah, that's where he's kicking. It just seems weird that the ball's on that side, but that's how the picture was. So that's how it's going. Um, I cut the balls out a little bit bigger because I wanted them to cover completely. I didn't go huge bigger, but they are a little bit bigger so that they would cover completely the piece on, underneath. This one, I think I did a little bit bigger than the other ones. But you know what? And you don't have to flip the ones if you're just doing the balls because they're going to line up. The glove I had to flip and get a mirror image because to make sure it lined up. Um, and the baseball, because the ball was sitting on the bat. And then I cut the arm off of this guy. Now i got to find out which one it was. I think it was this one. You see, these are basketball guys. Let me get them out of the way here. Two more basketball. And... Whoops! Come on. Two more. And... Rough something on there. There we go. And I don't know why I'm doing it on this side now. Okay. There we go. Another basketball player. And then we've got a football. What I did on this one is I had to. That one's that one. This is this one. I cut, in order to get him 18 inches, the ball was off the mat. So I just cut it off using my cutting tool and then cut the whole bat, the football. I think I called it a basketball. I just cut the whole football out, out of tape. Um, so that I didn't have to try and mess around with this and try and piece it just because of that one the football area I just decided to cut the football out separately and cut the football off of his hand there we go and there we go there we got our football and again, these are all going to be on six inch boxes. This one, um, I wanted his hand over the football. I didn't want to put the football right on it. So what I did is I cut out his complete arm. I'm going to cut part of this football off because I didn't have this to line it up when I put this together. I, I still didn't cut it off enough. I wanted his hand on top of the football, but his hand didn't separate here. So I cut it and separated it and cut the arm out so that I could get the football sitting in his hand instead of just on top of both of his hands. And I don't know if you have any idea what I was just talking about, but I kind of do. Um, also, kind of letting everybody know, I don't know what route I'm going to be going. Um, yeah, just because I'm getting so swamped and... My daughter is so busy with her real estate, and my other daughter is just busy with life with three kids and a, and a husband and a job, and, and she wants to have time off to relax and enjoy her summer, which I get. So I've been doing everything by myself, so I'm trying to make a decision here whether I'm going to cut back and... Um, just and or really just really enforce my lead times because I'm doing a lot of last a lot of last minute 
and I think a lot of that is coming from the, the pandemic and people weren't having parties and all of a sudden when everything opens up, they're going to try and have a party that they held off on. See, now his hand's holding the ball instead of the ball on top of his hand. And I'm going to color this in. This doesn't really matter because that's a sleeve. So it shouldn't really matter, but I'm going to color it in anyway. Um, I don't want that white there. No, you know what? I'm leaving it. I'm not going to color it in. It separates his arms because you got one in the front and one in the back. And I got another one here for basketball. Anyway, I um, forgot what I was saying, but it was something about just really cutting back or really enforcing the lead times. I'm getting uh, folks that are asking for, uh, you know, they asked me on Monday, can I get it by Friday? Uh, and I'll, I'll do it because I feel bad that, that whatever. I don't like to tell people no, but going forward, um, I'm going to have to enforce that. So anybody that happens across my YouTube and say, oh, that was exactly what I was looking for, uh, depending on how much time you're giving me, you know, you go to my shop and send me a message, happen a lot. I have to enforce my time. It's just everybody to know that. Um, this is it for these. I'm not going to, I'll put them on the boxes and send the pictures and put them, or put the pictures up with it, but I'm not going to do the boxes, uh, right now. You just saw the pieces. I'll get the pictures up. And you know what? I had nothing to tell. I can't believe it. I usually have so many things that I want to catch up on and I can't remember what they are. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody and have an awesome week and be safe. Bye-bye.